What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So I know you guys have heard about this property before that Ricky and I have right now. It's a, our most current flip. It is the biggest one and most expensive flip. This is the $2.3 million Paradise Valley in the Hills house right here. I haven't given you guys a full actual walkthrough yet, so here's what we're doing right now. We are standing in the entryway behind us. You're actually gonna, from the parking lot or from the, the driveway, you're gonna walk up these set of stairs. It's beautiful. You got a koi pond right behind us right here. The koi, uh, there's like, I don't know, five or 10 of them in that pond right now. Uh, but right now it's like mid renovation. I think we probably have about a week and a half left. I mentioned this before. I'm not actually doing any of the contracting myself. There is a contractor. He has all of his uh, employees that are doing all the, the renovations and stuff like that. So. We are done with paint, carpets next, we have light fixtures, um, we have a little bit of flooring, we have granite countertops going in. All in on this house, we're looking at about $125,000 to $130,000 of a renovation budget. It's not a whole lot of work, it's just such a huge house. It's 8,700 square feet of house that we have to do like all the paint on. The paint itself was like 40 grand, so here we go. Everything's painted white just to keep it a little bit cheaper. It opens up the, the room a lot more as well. Uh, I really like this. Obviously, the view is what's going to sell the house. The kitchen right here. We are planning on leaving the color of the cabinets, and we're just going to replace the countertops, I believe, with like a white, a super nice white granite countertop. It's going to have like a nice vein in it, uh, and we're going to run it all the way up to the back as well. So, kind of like this but I think we're gonna run it all the way up to the ceiling. So it's gonna be the same color granite and the backsplash all in one. That's about $16,000 just because of the amount of um, granite we have to have. We have to have six slabs of it. So we're gonna replace all this. We're getting new um, cooktops. We're getting a new dishwasher and then that's it for appliances. I think in total for appliances we're about $1,500 to $2,000. Um, we're gonna go into the master bedroom right now. I think we're at six bathrooms in here and like eight bedrooms or something like that. This is the master. The master actually has this entire side of the house. It's beautiful. We're gonna get all new carpet through here, so that's why if you guys can see it's a little bit messy right now. We have to move all this for the actual people that install the carpet. I think carpet in total for 3,000 square feet is about $13,000 I think is what we ended it at. All the fireplace over here and then this view is absolutely incredible, like waking up, looking out here and seeing this is like, like that's why someone's going to buy the house is just because of the view for this. So we're going to come in here. We're not doing anything to these bathrooms at all. All the bathrooms have been renovated at this house. So we're just going to leave everything as is. You got your walk-in shower, uh, custom cabinetry, it's red. But honestly, for a house like this, you kind of need some like something to stand out. So this was the previous owner's design and we're just going to leave it and run with it. Now we're going to fast forward and we're going to be across the other side of the house right here. So this, this floor that we're standing on right now, this was one of our uh, discussions that we've had as a group was are we going to replace this or are we just going to refinish it? Um, so we decided to actually save, I believe, about $4,000 and we're just going to refinish this entire surface right here. It's a really nice looking wood. It's obviously been worn out a little bit for over the last 10 years so it does need a little bit of refinishing. but. Uh, instead of replacing it, we're saving four grand, which is great. This is bedrooms number two and three, and it's also an office. As or this, it was staged as an office. I don't actually know what we're going to stage it at. Uh, here are the two bedrooms. Nothing really in here. One bathroom's in there. The other bathroom's in here. We got this bedroom. <laughs> this tour is like all over the place. Uh, this is the guest house. So it doesn't have a full kitchen, but it has its own bathroom in here, uh, its own closet, and it has uh, just obviously a bedroom itself. So this can, I think it had two beds in here before, so it'd sleep four people. But this is just outside the main house right here, and the koi pond's right behind us. You get a little grassy turf area. Michael will show you that right now. All right. Back inside. All right, um, this looked a lot better like a week ago, but they're actually mid renovation, obviously. So this, I think we're gonna stage as like a workout room or like a pool room. They actually had two beds in here because the previous owner was actually renting this out for a short term vacation rental. So they try to sh stuff as many beds in here as possible. I think they try to put 11 beds in here, not in this room, but in the entire house. So this, think about it as like a weight room, really nice. And then you immediately, there's another bathroom over there. 
um, immediately walk out into the pool. So this is the pool area. I wish it was actually a little, a little bit more of a focal point. It doesn't really stand out in the entire house. And I think with a house like this, you have to have like a really nice looking infinity pool. We're gonna spend about $6,000. At least we have a budget for that to kind of refinish some of the pool, the surface of it. And there's a lot of cracked tiles and stuff on the other side of the infinity pool. So we're gonna repair all that and make it nice and clean. Not much out here. I think landscaping, we're probably gonna spend probably about two grand on just because it's a one acre lot so there's a lot of uh land out here that we need to trim up a little bit and um yeah there's a movie room mike's gonna get b-roll of it i don't really need to show you guys it's like a little basement area so this is it this is uh from the pool table room or the the, the great room when you guys walk in you can walk straight out here uh very long i love this area you can have like good entertainment out here barbecue you can have a couple tables out here uh benches over there and then obviously you get the view so yeah that's pretty much the entire house guys um yeah let's go ahead and end the video here budget like i said we're looking at 130k we do have quite a bit of room for profit on this we're, we're going to list it i believe at 3.5 million dollars anticipating a purchase price of a little bit less than that hopefully um conservatively i would say like three million dollars hopefully we can find someone with with houses like this it takes a very specific buyer so it's really hard to comp something like this like you can't go and look at the neighbor's house and be like oh yeah it's going to sell for the same price as this because it's just so unique it's going to take a specific buyer to understand that they're buying or they're paying for the view and stuff like that so uh it might sit on the market a little bit longer and the holding costs each and every month we have this is like seventeen thousand dollars so the longer we hold this it's basically taking out seventeen thousand dollars of a profit every single month so i want to thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it we probably have about two more weeks on this project i will obviously keep you guys updated on it ricky's uh, obviously my business partner on this he is the one that's funding a lot of this as well so i wouldn't be able to do it without him his information is down below i'm sure a lot of you guys already know him. michael and michael's information the one that's filming this is down below as well as always, I am a licensed real estate agent here in the Arizona area. I love to help you guys. I focus on a lot of investor-friendly real estate. So if you guys are looking to invest out here, rental properties, uh, message me down below. Or if you guys are just looking to buy or sell out here, I represent a lot of just residential purchases as well. So that's it. Drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.